Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. In this video, let's take a look at how React Memo works internally. Um, I've already put up a blog post for this one, so if you want like a more concise explanation, I suggest you go to my jaser.dev blog. It's jaser.dev. And uh, yeah, if you want like uh, me uh, explaining it uh, with voice, you can just continue uh, watch my video. So in the previous video about the bailout, we already know um, how React bails out, right? When there is nothing to 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 continue, um, it is just to basically uh, check if the props change, the context has changed, and check the lengths of itself, the changes of itself, and the children. Uh, if anything in the in the subtree changes, and if nothing nothing changed, then it just bails stop checking the subtree and just uh, complete. So this sounds familiar with what React Memo does, right? React Memo, as we already understood, it, just, uh, it checks that if the props are the same, if the same, it will uh, stop, just uh, it will not re-render. This is what, what I knew before I started this video. So let's take a look at some example. Uh, this is the first, um, the, the previous example, uh, just to, to show um, what is going on. So I figured out the render component. Uh, a, B, C, D, E, F. Uh, this is the hierarchy. A, B, B, sibling E. E has an F as child. C has a button and uh, also has a D as a sibling. So, A, B, C, D, E, F. And then when I create this button, you can see that C uh, is rendered because the state is on C. And the uh, button is re rendered and D is also re rendered. So, yeah, this is, this is what expected. And But now, let's change the code a little bit. This is uh, uh, another demo of, uh, of me. Uh, wrapping up, let's go to the dev, dev HTML. Oh, no, 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 it's not dev HTML here. Okay, here um, we've wrapped up the D with a memo, which is this underscore D, and everything else is the same. So with memo, so now we check, click the button, we can see that there is no, um, no uh, uh, re rendering D. So what is happening? Uh, we can just set a debugger here to first to target what the memo function is. So let's go to here. I think somewhere memo uh, function memo. Yeah, here. So this is the function react memo actually. Uh, you can see that it actually returns an element, uh, re return this element of type of react memo type because memo, uh, because basically all we write, uh, most of them are HTML elements. So this is like, HTML elements, but for memo, it's not in HTML, right? So it's something similar with this type of was set to React memo type. And this type is actually the R function, uh, the D. Let's see. Yeah, the type is R function D. And we have a compare function. We will cover this later. Uh, it's undefined now because we don't pass it. Actually, before I started this video, I didn't know that memo has a second uh, argument. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not very good at React. Um, yeah, we, we turn this element and uh, it's done. So the problem is goes, uh, this is just a, uh, uh, the basic element, right? Um, the problem goes how lies where, how um, React update this element, update this component, I would say. Um, cool, let's go to the React DOM. Remember what we have uh, covered in the last video, it's many about, about perform, unit of work. This is the core of the core, I would say. Uh, this is basically React is very, like, like, like very pride of this function, I would say. Um, okay, so basically it will just uh, keep running perform of unit work on all the fibers. Let's go to it. So here, this is lock we add. So begin work. Um, yeah, let's go to uh, begin work. And then go to a Go to begin work, and there is actually a begin work here. Yeah, so this is the core of the core of the core, I would say. <laughs> okay, so this is begin work. Uh, remember what, what what we have covered in the last video. Um, we, this begin work will be run. Actually, let's first disable it. Um, run all the fibers, A, B, C, from root to bottom. Um, yeah, it's here. You can see this current is actually the root and the child is the A, yeah. And then we go, there's the, again, this is the A, the child is the div. 
a uh, child is the div uh, child is the div yeah dear div and the b right you has the b as the children so yeah child is the b and blah 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 goes to c and then go to d because c has changes and d uh, i go to button and go to d and d we will come up come up to our memo so uh here let's see what's our uh, memo is i see function class and host root host pro blah 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 there's a lot of we will cover them all of them in the future oh so here is a memo component and also there's something simple memory component why there's a two a two uh, we will co come back to this later we we'll soon we will understood why so let's just uh um disable the uh, uh um disable the here and go cool so now you see actually we're updating uh the simple memo me component this is not cool uh let's reload it yeah the first time the first mount is actually a memo component this is this is why remember what we've we've seen that the, the actually the uh the type of is set to uh, react memo type right yeah so how it's becoming the memo component um, because this is the because the type of is the type of the element you, you can think of like the, the json representation basically uh, but the component is function itself um, and it said oh uh, no it's not the function uh, the type is the function it's actually the fiber tag here so actually i think it's set somewhere the tag is set somewhere um, when we create the five create the children. Um, let's see here. I don't actually remember which file. Maybe this one. No, not this one. Then it's this. Then it's this one. Oh yeah, you can see. It's actually check the check the type of. Um, this is uh, the function of uh, create a fiber from types and something. Yeah. So it basically check. If the JSON representation it says it's a memo, then I set the fiber tag to memo component. So and then we can have this um, memo component uh, update. Mm, why? Oh yeah, here. Yeah, we can have this memo component. Remember, it is fourteen. Uh, the type type is actually our uh, D here. So uh, we can skip this stuff. This is for dev, and then we have this update memo function. We also have this update simple memo function. Let's go. Who cool? Uh, remember, we have seen this update function component, right? I think it's uh, a, a sort of similar. Uh, the first check is current means is now. Uh, now, uh, now, no is means that it's the first mount. Uh, there's no, uh, there's no uh, ordinate um, uh, fiber, so it needs to create something, right? It said if it is first mount, then you check if here is something important. It says if it is simple function component, blah blah blah, then we go to update simple memo component, and also we set the tag to simple memo component. This is this is interesting, right? The first tag is actually uh, fifteen. Now if it is first mount, and then we find it simple, then we will set the tag to simple memo component. Uh, we can see that it's actually 15. Oh no, the current one is actually uh, is 15, 14. Yeah, 14. Set uh, 15 to override the 15, 14, and then update the simple component. Yeah, this means that only for the first time, first time the update memo component will be run. Uh, if it is simple, then in the future all will be uh, directed to update update the simple memo component. Uh, just below, yeah. Um, yeah, up to simple memo component. Cool. And uh, let's first take a look at what it's in is update simple component. It's simple. Uh, it says well, this is some track, and then uh, this is this is not the initial mount. Then it will shadow equal. It will check the props. You can see the pre prop is memorized, uh, memorized uh, props, and then next props. Yeah, if it is equal, then uh, as we are using it daily. Uh, it should prevent uh, prevent the uh, re-rendering. By pre prevent re-rendering, uh, we mean the bailout, as we explained in the last video, right? So you can see, if it's all equal, then there is no update. But but we still check if there is something updated by checking the schedule update or context. This is because um, there might be other 
uh, like uh, commands that changes the fiber, uh, like the set state or some event system, or the the context has changed. So uh, it doesn't mean that if the, the if the props are the same, it doesn't mean that the fiber will be the same. Uh, so we need to check it first. If there's no changes and the props are the same, then we are safely to bait it out. Yeah, so that's simple. And then we update function component. We've already covered it, so we will skip skip it. So this is the uh, this is the update simple com memo component. So let's go back to the other um, here. Let's see what if it is not simple component. Uh, here it's a simple com sub component, and if it is not. It will create a fiber for the children and then reconcile that child. So what does this mean? This means that if it is simple, we don't have this child, but just directly get the children of the function component, right? So the simple component hierarchy is one layer less than the memo component. Let's see what ha what is in this is simple function component. Uh, it checks if it's function and it is not a constructor, so it's not class component, right? And also, okay, let's let's really here. Also, it checks if it's compare. If it's compare is empty, then it's simple. So, what we can change is that uh, we check change our code a little bit. Um, uh, let's change our code like uh, wait a minute how can I change our code yeah this one um, this is the blog what I've done let's change our code um, 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 dev memo here uh, let's change it to uh, attach another compare function Yeah, go back and then reload. And then it's not simple anymore. So we go to here. Uh, yeah, you can see. Yeah, memo. And uh, it's not simple anymore. We create a child. And this component type is the D. And blah, blah, blah. Set so return child. And this will be, we will do it again just as the ordinary function component, right? So let's, as what I've pointed out in my blog post, uh, there are two screenshots. And let's see. Um, what, what's what's the difference between this fiber? So this is first one is not simple. Uh, let's first take a look at the not simple one. We go to the container and uh, type uh, the dollar zero and dot underscore underscore. We will have a unique. And this changes every time, so you need to just uh, get a suggestion. Um, we get the fiber tree and click the ordinate, and we have this child. You can see this a. This is actually the root, and this is the A, and A has a child of div, div has a child of B, B has a child of div, div has a child of C, C has a child of div, yeah, and then we got this button, so this is a child of this button, and button has a sibling of D, so it has sibling, child is empty, but it has a sibling of, uh, yeah, this one. So, we can see that for D, uh, there's, because we've already memo it, so this element type is memo, obviously, and tag is 14, type, type is memo, uh, type is memo type, and this child, it's, um, we have to see the child is D. So we have this memo layer of fiber in our fiber tree. Remember, yeah, my memo, child, and then go to D, this is now then we go to the ordinary one. If we re remove this compare function, again, let's see what happens. Again, we get the fiber tree. And then we get the roots, child A, child, child B, child, child C, child div, child button. Button has a sibling of uh, the D. See here, it's still memo mm -hmm. and the tag is 15 but the type type is different now type is d it's not memo and also the child it doesn't have d there it just have the div so you we see the difference now if it is simple actually basically uh, we should have this memo right if you want to add a, a extra layer say 
uh, don't re re render any more of D, then we have to put a different uh, a parent fiber on top of D. That's straightforward. But if it's simple, we kind of like merge the merge the memo fiber and this D fiber into one. That's the meaning of it, it being simple. Yeah, as I put it in my blog, simple memo component is an internal optimization for function components, which merges the memo fiber and the wrapped fiber into one. So it looks similar to this one, like view flattening React Native. Uh, this is something I read recently. Um, yeah, if you have this like, if you have this like uh, layout component, the very deep like view, 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 then it's kind of the, the, the new rendering engine, new renderer will actually merge them into one, I would say, right? Uh, is that the true? Yeah, avoid deep blah, blah, blah. Conceptually, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. This, yeah. Oh yeah, this one. Looks like this one, but it's different, but uh, some idea is simple. Just uh, flatten them. Uh, this is what re uh, re uh, simple memo component does. But it's, it's invisible from the outside. Um, I just find it very interesting. And also we have this pull request uh, where we can see, uh, actually this, uh, this guy, what is this? Sebastian? I think he has joined the Vercel, Vercel. Uh, actually this is the original pull request to add this optimization. Uh, yeah, it's simple, you see the simple, we just uh, remove this one layer. So yeah, one thing I've learned is that if the fiber tree is uh, shallower, it's less deeper, then the performance will be better. Of course, the perform unit of work like uh, it could just uh, traverse uh, less fibers, right? Um, yeah, other than this one, I think there is nothing special about this memo. Um, uh, there's some ch checks and just to do remember that, um, just do remember, even though that memo helps us re avoid re-rendering, but it actually, the checks to get your update or context is always checked before uh, we do this shadow compare. Uh, it's because it's because it's always some possibility the state the, the fiber is uh, updated through other system like event system or context. So as the React homepage says, React memo is only for performance optimization. It is not a way to prevent the re-render. Re it's not something like the class component that we have uh, used like years ago. It has should should component update or something, right? If we return false, it will definitely not re-render, but but in React Memo, it's not the case. There is still possibility it will re-render. Uh, re uh, re it's just some performance optimization. And the new, uh, in the new React conference, uh, someone, some guy said about uh, React Forget will add the memo directly, uh, automatically for us. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Um, um, but it's it's outside of our topic. Uh, we, we in this video we're only covering how it works internally. So, yeah, that's it. Hope it helped. Um, and uh, yeah, if you want the concise one, just to refer to my JSR blog and uh, uh, JSR.dev, and I hope you help. See you next time. Bye bye.